Welcome to BSc Statistics students. So in this class, uh, I continue the problems of test for single proportion. This is problem two of test for single proportion. You read the problem. A coin was thrown 400 times and had resulted to 40 times. Test whether the coin is unbiased at 1% level of significance. So that is, uh, first of all, I already pointed out that, uh, first of all, we have to see whether it is one tile, whether it is uh, one sample test or two sample test. Whether the test is one sample test or two sample test. It is obviously, we can uh, identify, a coin was thrown 400 times. So nothing, no other data is given here. So therefore, it is one sample test, n is equal to 400. 400 times a coin was thrown and later on a had this resulted 240 times. Now we have to see whether this is a test of means or proportion or standard deviation etc. So therefore we have to see whether the data is related to given, it is given related to mean or standard deviation or proportion etc. Now you see it has resulted 240 times, had resulted 240 times. That is one characteristic, it was specified, one attribute. Had was resulted 240 times, the number is given. That is number of successes. If you consider getting a had is a number of, it is a success, then the number of successes are 240 times, had observed 240 times. Therefore, x is equal to 240, hence it is a proportion test, test for single proportion, it is test for proportion. How proportionately the number of heads is, uh, are, are going to be observed, number of cats are observed, that is the test out of uh, 400 times, how many proportionate uh, heads are going to be observed, therefore it is proportion test. And now you see, therefore, given data, n is equal to 400, x is equal to 240. Now, what is capital B? Probability of getting a head. Population proportion of heads. That is nothing but probability of getting a head. If coin is unbiased, then capital P is equal to 1 by, one by 2. Head and tile, two outcomes, out of which favorable number of outcomes are 1. That is head, 1. 1 by 2. Therefore, Q is equal to 1 minus P, 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2, it is 1 by 2. So, these are the values PQ value, PQ values, capital P, capital Q values. The small p, sample proportion, x by n, small x by n, 240 by 400, some value. Now, there are four particular point for any, for conducting any test procedure. Null hypothesis, Alternative hypothesis, test test statistic under H0, and comparison and conclusion or inference. Right? So, for a first of all, null hypothesis, H0, capital P is equal to 1 by 2. That is, this is nothing but P0. That is, coin is unbiased. That is, uh, the coin is unbiased. Then, uh, capital P is equal to 1 by 2. That is the value of the P, capital P under H0. That is H0, the P, capital P0 is equal to 1 by 2. Alternative hypothesis, H1, capital P not equal to 1 by 2. Because if coin is unbiased here, a rival hypothesis coin is biased or coin is not unbiased. That is biased. It is a two tile test, not equal to. I specified that if it is not equal to alternative in the alternate hypothesis. Then it is two tile test, greater than or less than, it is one tile, right tile or left tile, one tile test. Now test a statistic under H0, test a statistic under H0. The under the null hypothesis H0 test a statistic is nothing but Z is equal to small p minus capital P0 divided by square root of P0 Q0 by N follows N01 that is it is equivalent to B. Now you just substitute the values 240 by 400 small p minus capital P naught 1 by 2 divided by square root of capital P naught 1 by 2 capital Q naught 1 by 2 divided by n small n 400 the value calculate the value 4 
So here uh, I explain two two conclusions, two kinds of conclusions we may we may consider. One conclusion number one: if z is greater than three, always h not is rejected. That is conclusion one. Now we see the tabulated value, significant value. Z alpha is equal to two point five eight at one percent level of significance. Since uh, in the problem it was specified that one percent level of significance, test at one percent level. So therefore, we have to consider one percent level of significance, and then uh, for two tile test, you refer the alternative hypothesis. It is two tile test. So for two tile test and one percent level of significance, the tabulated value Z alpha is equal to two point five eight. The obviously modulus of Z four it is greater than two point five eight Z alpha. Therefore, H naught is rejected. You need not to compare like this because uh, if it is greater than three, modulus of z is greater than three. Always we can reject null hypothesis H not. No need to compare with any tabulated value. Good. That is you see here the two con conclusions uh, which were given here. Modulus of z is greater than three. We always reject H not. Therefore, reject H not. That is accept H one. We are rejecting H not. H not. Therefore, accepting H one. The what is H one? The di uh, the coin is biased. The coin is not unbiased. Therefore, the coin is not unbiased. That is the statement uh, uh, we can give. It's a it's a part of comparison and conclusion or inference. So these are the four points. Finally, what we have uh, considered here, the H not is rejected in the problem. Therefore, the coin is not unbiased. Thank you.